welcome to another episode of Wonderfest TV with me, Kat. And me, Arlene. I'm so excited to be here with you. Kat. I'm so excited that you're here with me, Arlene. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying our season so far. We've got Ralph here on the table with us, as always. He's a lovely friend. <laughs> nice to touch. He gives, he gives us, us oxygen. oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a cool lineup today. Yes, we I do. Guess. And a really cool topic we're talking about, action. Yeah, taking today. action. Because a goal just on paper, just in your head, doesn't get you very far. Mm -hmm. You've got to do something about it. Right, but but I applaud those that do have goals that that do put them down, because it's them, you know, putting that out into, you know, giving themselves that um, that to do list. Yes. As if you, you know, if, um, for lack of a better explanation, but to actually go into it. So there's a lot of people that um, are go getters, especially entrepreneurs. Um, athletes are really like mm -hmm. the, the same. Um, musicians and entertainment people um, and a lot of people that are they they you know they're like oh I wish that would happen to me what's amazing is that it can happen to you if you just like amazing put the right shoes on in term like if you're an athlete well I mean like or I was trying to be figurative or yes, literal figuratively Whoa. thank you yes. yes but and just to take the first step so like you yep. know you wanted to always um, run uh, a marathon um, that's something I don't want to do maybe a half marathon I like sprinting, but just just take that first step of you know running around the block and then adding to that. Um, it's I think it's you know little tiny steps. Yeah, well, exactly. Like a, like the whole mile or however long you're going to run starts with that first step, right? For and sure. if you never take that, if you're just planning to take it, then it never happens. So. Exactly. But there's a fine balance too because you know patience is also a virtue. So. How do you know whether you're supposed to be patient or whether you should be like pushing forward? I guess um, as individuals, we, we have that chance to figure that out on our own, especially like, let's say, going back to the marathon, um, you know, you're pushing yourself, but then you're, you're hurting yourself, like you're going too far. Um, let's say you, you try to do the marathon mm -hmm. right away. Um, you know, obviously you have to do some training prior to it. Um, I think it's just realizing like if you're pushing yourself too much you don't want to injure yourself you don't want to but you do need to push yourself in order to get to the next step. Because no pain no gain. Exactly. It also happens at meals. That's true. Yes so you gotta be careful what you're pushing forward for. <laughs> <laughs> the food is just so good. I know it's true. How about you what do you um, how do you differentiate how to you know go forward um, take action and then be patient. I feel like it's a really fine um, intuitive thing where I have to really ask myself am I not pushing forward? Am I uncomfortable because this is something that's going to make me grow and I should go forward or is this something uncomfortable that I it is, not, is not good for me? Right. Do you know what I mean? Like make a decision based on um, something that makes you feel elated if, you're, if it's going to move you forward to something that is going to make you happy as opposed to going away from something, avoiding something right. that you don't like. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Does that make sense? Give us an example. It does to oh, me. That's a really good example. That's a really good um, question. Okay. Like the, the, the pressure of an example. <laughs> I feel like, um, you know, I say I, I'm really nervous to ask you something, but I really want to move forward uh, on something. Okay. And I'm like, no, I can't ask. I don't want to ask. Right. And, and that's so I'm just going to be patient and maybe she'll think of it and maybe oh, she'll ask me. I see. As opposed to, no, this is something that's going to feel uncomfortable to get it out onto the table. Right. But then from there, we're going to move forward. Yeah. And there's that saying where, everything that you want in life is outside of your comfort zone yes yeah and it's yeah. it's amazing because like we talked about last last week uh, about our greatest potential and mm -hmm. you know becoming more of like um, living our own lives being an individual but just getting out of our comfort zone it is going to be painful mm -hmm. um, but just like when you're stretching a muscle or like you're working out a muscle, it's it's gonna hurt, but then it's Sometimes it's growing. Pain is good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I mean to discretion. Like you don't want to hurt yourself uh, physically yeah. or even mentally. But yeah. just um, in order to grow, we have to um, change. Something. Yeah, and I think part of that is yeah, like um, navigating that yourself and learning about yourself and what is outside your comfortable your comfort zone for a reason or that's gonna you know. Right benefit you or exactly become something yeah. worse. Do you remember a time where you reached out of your comfort zone where you didn't want to but then you did and then you were um, 
Oh, Absolutely. all the time, yeah. all the time. Like if you think um, back to a lot of firsts where, um, oh, I'm afraid to do stand-up comedy, like that's crazy, like just standing up there and trying to be funny, but then right. I did it and it was fine. And then I felt amazing because I felt like I did that. I, you know, the self-growth in that is, is amazing. And I'm sure you were empowered that way as well, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And Go ahead. Sorry, no. no, I was just going to say, like, going back to my childhood, we um, were a military family, so we moved around every two or three years. So every two or three years, I was out of my comfort zone because I right. was a child in this, suddenly it was a, a brand new world. Yeah. Um, and every time I had no choice, I had to, you know, adapt to that. And uh -huh. it just made me stronger and, right. you know, more open and, and things like that. So that's definitely one as cool. well. How about you? Um, well, it's, it's just basically performing as yeah. well. Um, you know, I'm introvert by nature, but performing in front of people, it's, there's such a, um, like a natural high that I get from it. And um, yeah, so that's it. Um, but we actually have two incredible guests. Yes, we do. This week we have yeah. Wonder Women. Yes. Cuppy Cake Sisters, Sana, Sana and Vera. Vera. Yep. And then we also have a super man who actually does my hair in Boy the Groomers. Please stay tuned. It's going to be a great show. Yeah, babies. One door closes, another opens. But often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one which has been opened for us. Wow, that's really good.